Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is Thomas Herbert Worrell. And this game has been played in New York in 1857. And Paul Morphy surrendered one of his knights. He is playing with the knight oats. And Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, e5, f4, king's gambit, accepted. Knight to f3, g5, bishop to c4, and then black played, g4, attacking the knight. And what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Maybe knight to e5, it looks like a reasonable move, attacking on f7, also attacking on g4. But Paul Morphy played d4, sacrificing the knight. g takes on f3, and Paul Morphy lost both of his knights. Black has two extra pieces, and after this move, Paul Morphy castled. Bishop to h6, defending on f4. Queen takes on f3, knight to c6, and it's white to move. And Paul Morphy played an incredible move. Well, Paul Morphy played, bishop takes on f7, sacrificing the bishop. What else? King takes bishop. And white lost three pieces. Paul Morphy is three pieces down, and that's a huge disadvantage for white. But Paul Morphy only cares about the development. He's not caring about the material. Paul Morphy played queen to h5, check, king to g7, bishop takes, bishop takes, and then rook takes on f4. And now, white is threatening to play rook to f7. That's checkmate. So Paul Morphy is threatening checkmate at move 11. Defending with the knight, knight to h6, rook from a to f1, queen to e8, black wants to exchange the queens. Black wants to simplify the game. But Paul Morphy played queen to h4, so if queens are exchanged, black is winning. Black has so much material. That's why Paul Morphy played queen to h4, d6, opening the diagonal for the bishop. And it's white to move. And can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? Paul Morphy has a very obvious threat. And what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Well, of course, Paul Morphy played. Queen to f6, that's check, also attacking the knight. King to g8, and then queen takes knight. And now Paul Morphy is threatening to play rook to f8. Defending bishop to d7, rook from 4 to f3, threatening to play rook to g3, and the only defense is with the queen. So black is losing the queen. And how to defend? Black played knight to e7. So if rook to g3, defending with the knight, knight to g6. But Paul Morphy played h4, and if knight to g6, h5, attacking the knight. And Thomas Herbert Worrell played knight to g6. Paul Morphy played h5, attacking the defender. Bishop to g4, attacking the rook. Paul Morphy captures the knight. h takes on g6, attacking the queen. That's a discover attack to the queen. So if queen to somewhere else, bishop takes rook and black is winning. Black has so much material. And in this position, Paul Morphy made his calculations, and he saw the force checkmate. And can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? Paul Morphy played rook to f8, queen takes rook, rook takes queen, rook takes rook. And then Paul Morphy played queen takes on g6, and that's checkmate. The king can't go anywhere. A pullet's mate. And look at the final position. It looks like a piece of art. And this checkmate is also called as the a mate. 
one of the most famous checkmates of Paul Morphy ever. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.